Welcome back to our channel Machinery and Technology. Today, we have a truly electrifying topic to delve into giant gearbox manufacturing process. An industrial gearbox is a system in which the mechanical energy is transferred from one device to another and is used to increase torque while reducing speed. Gearboxes can modify their speed, torque to convert energy into a compatible format. They are useful in easing out the mechanical functioning in industries. The heart of those gearboxes are the gears inside. You can see it a lot in the devices around you. It has an extremely simple design, but its effectiveness is extremely high and to produce it is not simple, especially those giant gears you're seeing in the video. So, if you're ready to spark your curiosity, let's dive right in. Gear forging processes include blank forging, normalizing, turning machining, hobbing on shaper machine, gear shaving, heating treatment, grinding machining. Following shows the detailed introduction of each forging process. Blank forging, hot closed die forging is also the main blank forging process of auto gear forgings. In recent years, the technology of cross wedge rolling machine has been widely used in shaft and gear parts process. This kind of technology is suitable for blank forging of complex step shaft. It has not only high precision, small machining allowance, but also high production efficiency. The purpose of this process is to obtain the hardness suitable for subsequent gear cutting and to prepare the structure for the final heat treatment, so as to effectively reduce the heat treatment deformation. The practice shows that the use of isothermal normalizing effectively changes the disadvantages of general normalizing and the product quality is stable and reliable. Turning machining. In order to meet the positioning requirements of high precision gear processing, CNC lathe is used for the processing of gear blank and the machining of whole diameter and face and outer diameter under one clamping is completed synchronously by using mechanical clamping without regrinding turning tool. It not only ensures the perpendicularity requirements of the inner hole and the end face, but also ensures the small size dispersion in the production of large batch of gear blanks. In addition, the high efficiency of CNC lace processing also greatly reduces the number of equipment. Good economy. Hopping and gear shaping. A large number of gear hopping machines and gear shapers are still used in the processing of gear parts. Although it is convenient to adjust and maintain, the production efficiency is relatively low. If a large production capacity is completed, multiple machines are required to produce at the same time. With the development of coating technology, the ray coating of hop and insert blade after grinding is very convenient. After coating, the service life of the tool can be significantly improved, which can generally be increased by more than 90%, effectively reducing the number of tool changes and grinding time with significant benefits. Gear shaving. Radial shaving technology is widely used in the production of automobile gears with its advantages of high efficiency, easy realization of the requirements of tooth shape design and tooth direction modification, heat treatment, Carburizing and quenching are required for automobile gears to ensure their good mechanical properties. Stable and reliable heat treatment equipment is essential for the products that will not be grinded after heat treatment. Grinding machining. 
It is mainly to finish the inner hole and face and outer diameter of the shaft of the gear after heat treatment, so as to improve the dimensional accuracy and reduce the geometrical tolerance. Gears are designed, two things milled and ground, housings welded and finally complete units are assembled, all under one roof. Before beginning the assembly process, it is essential to ensure that all tools and equipment required are in proper working order and calibrated. Any errors in measurement or misaligned tools could cause defects in the gearbox, which can lead to dangerous and expensive consequences. The cleanliness of the assembly environment and the gearbox components is critical. Dirt and debris can lead to wear and tear, which could affect the gearbox's performance and lifespan. Before beginning the assembly process, that all components are free from any contamination and the assembly area is clean. Let's look at the process of installing a giant gearbox with a total of 29 gears and weighing 261 tons at the SMS factory. This radial gear for a forging machine is the most complex one ever made in the Hilkenbach workshop. Servicing heavy industrial and mill gear boxes requires specialized tools, equipment, and trained professionals with specific expertise in heavy industrial and mill. Bearing failures. Bearings in the gear box can fail due to wear, contamination, or improper lubrication, which can cause noise, vibration, and increase temperatures. Gear wear. Over time, the gears in the gearbox can wear down due to constant use, which can cause decreased efficiency, increased noise, and potentially catastrophic failure if the gears become severely worn. Seal failures. Seals in the gearbox can fail due to wear, damage, or improper installation, which can cause oil leaks, leading to contamination of the gearbox and damage to internal components. Shaft failures. Shafts in the gearbox can fail due to bending, torsion, or fatigue, which can cause the gearbox to seize up or the shaft to break, resulting in catastrophic failure. Overheating. 
If the gear box is not adequately cooled or lubricated, it can overheat, which can cause damage to internal components and potentially catastrophic failure. Misalignment. Excessive wear and damage to the gear box can occur if the gear box is not properly aligned with the other components in the system. Proper industrial gear box maintenance, lubrication, and monitoring can help prevent many of these failures and extend the lifespan of the gearbox. Lubrication is vital in gearbox. It reduces friction, wear, and tear on the gears and helps dissipate heat. It is essential to use the manufacturer's recommended lubrication to avoid damage to the gearbox. It is also important for this industrial gearbox to maintain the proper oil level. Too little oil results in insufficient lubrication and cooling. Too much oil can cause overheating due to excess shear friction. Standard oil level sight glasses and optional external oil gauges are available to monitor the industrial gear box oil level. The oil or grease within the gear box lubricates and transfers heat to cool the gear box. The majority of heat is generated by oil shear, bearing friction, and seal friction. During normal operation and speeds, the gears and bearings are adequately lubricated by oil splash and misting. An acceptable temperature range is up to 100 degrees C, 212 degrees F, normally seen at maximum design speed. If higher temperatures are being generated, additional cooling methods will be required. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or new topics to discuss, please let me know by commenting below the video.